I'll be unboxing TXT's new album, The Name Chapter, Temptation. I was walking in Target and I happened to pass by these copies of the new album. They only had the green version, the farewell version, and the lullaby version, which I think has a random member in it, but I was okay with any version. I thought the packaging for the larger albums was completely beautiful. Um, if I could pick, I'd probably choose the pink and the green version based off the cover. But um, when I saw the previews, it seems like the black version, I'm sorry, I forgot the name, but it seems like the black version had the theme that I probably would prefer the most when they're all in that ethereal forest kind of excited to see which random member I get. I like all of them, so it doesn't... I have no preference in who I get. It has some kind of extra inclusion. An extra photo card. Ooh. Like a Peter Pan type of theme. Farewell. I'm so obsessed with Sugar Rush Ride. It's such a great song, it's so catchy. I find myself like just humming along to it or having the chorus stuck in my head. And the choreography is so funny, it's like so catchy. Everything about it is just awesome. Uh, so like quotes for each of the songs. So I see that this version is like when they're at the beach. They're all very pretty. These are really handsome, pretty men. Group shot. Subin. A quote from Sugar Rush Ride. My favorite song, their title track in this album. I really like his pink hair color for this comeback. Yeonjin. Hini Kai. There's more pictures in here than I thought. So, really liking the packaging. I would like if um, these photos filled up the entire page instead of having that blank space over there, just so that it makes use of the entire page. But other than that, I do like the packaging and the photo shoot. It's very nice, as expected from TXT. This is my bias Subin. So I actually do have top two bias, but I'm happy with whichever version or photo cards or inclusions I get. Because they're all really talented guys. Oh, I think I feel an inclusion. So we'll see the first one come up pretty soon. Beautiful, pretty men. Ooh, I like this shot. So for once, there's a full page with like a printed photo all throughout it. That looked really nice. Ooh, so here's inclusion. You already got a peek of that, so I'll try to hurry and finish. Oh, there you go. Here's their thank you pages. I didn't get to show the spine, but there it is. So our inclusions, probably already saw a sneak peek. I'll just go one by one so each of these inclusions get their YouTube time. 
first thing I saw was this. I always get a Yeonjun inclusion. I feel like I always get him, but it's cool. He's like my second bias. Photo card, who are you? Ooh, what was his name again? Taehyun, Taehyun, right? There's pretty pink hair. But yeah, this is kind of a given. And it looks like this is, oh, lyrics. You always gotta have that, right? It was kind of interesting seeing like behind the scenes recording. So most of the video that was uploaded recently, it consisted of the recording for Devil by the Window. But it had a little bit of clips of Sugar Rush Ride, but yeah, they just all have really good uh, vocals. Oh yeah, and the CD? Book. Oh. Ooh. Kind of has that tie-dye pattern, but it's all green. Oh, the postcard of Tehyun. I feel like I get him a lot too, so it's either him and or Yeonjun. I'll put it there. It's kind of funny how the pink version is called Nightmare, but the black cover version is called Daydream, and that one is the, I think it's the forest theme. And what is this? Ooh, a poster. There you go. Okay. And now, the unboxing of the lullaby version. So I'm guessing this is the member version, if I remember correctly from the previews. Okay, I'm having trouble focusing. There's the back. Oh my god! Okay, so I guess we got that version. So that was the reveal. We got the Subin version. <laughs> Here I was trying to have my camera focus on the spine and that just flies out. That's so funny. Okay, so we got my biases version. Cool. This is called the lullaby version. Ooh, a lot of white pages. Look at that sparkly blouse. And it's kind of interesting how he has bleach blonde hair for this comeback. Because I kind of used to him with like darker hair or even blue hair, but like platinum blonde. It's kind of a new look for him, if I'm not mistaken. And get a poster. There's a mini poster of Subin. He's the leader of the group. I don't know why I tend to favor leaders of the groups for the most part. Not always, but it seems like lately my biases have been the leaders of their group. This is better quality than I thought it would be. Because from their last comeback, I think the tier version, I think it was called tier version, where it had like member specific versions. I felt like the printing quality was a little bit lower and the paper was like, I don't know, it was like kind of lower quality, but this one, it's actually a nice booklet, nice pages. I don't know if all versions are like this, but it seems like it doesn't cover up the whole page. I think I mentioned that like 10 times, but I guess that's just one thing I would, I would have liked Hybe or Big Hit to do is fill up the entire page because you're paying money to see high-res photos of your favorite idols, right? But regardless of that, these photos are really uh, good looking. They're just really beautiful men. <laughs> okay, more lyrics. And it's green. Just like the this version we have over here. Farewell version. Something flew out. I feel like 
GXC albums are like those pop-up cards like when you open it and like confetti flies at you I feel like this happens to me like almost every time and if I remember correctly I think I was unboxing like either a tier version or I know it was for good boy gone bad and I I vividly remember the photo cards just flew out for whatever reason like it's not meant to be that but I don't know Seems like things like to fly out oh my gosh <laughs> And I got the member I always seem to pull. Not complaining, he's my bias as well. Okay, but let's look at the CD first. It says Supin. Oh, okay. Purple over there. I didn't expect to like this version as much, but maybe because it's my bias, I don't know. But um, the quality was pretty nice. Okay, so over here we got Yunjin and something flipped over again. Ooh, look at that top. He's really like such an ace, like his singing and dancing is always on point. And he could cover like girl and boy group dances like so well. And here's a kind of like a larger postcard. It's not that large, but I would call it mini postcard. A mini postcard of Subin. So whether this is given as like, if this matches the member version that you get, I don't really know. But it looks like the photo card is random. We got Yeonjun two times, but I'm glad to at least get the Supin version since that was random. And that was my unboxing.